Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So we are going to cover another video tutorial on our series PIC-18 microcontroller with C. So in this series, we are discussing uh, the PIC-18 microcontroller programming with the help of C language. And in this specific tutorial, we are going to discuss about IO port configuration. Uh, I have already done a series of uh, uh, PIC-18 microcontroller assembly language programming. So in that series, I've already explained there are various number of ports. For example, if I'm going to name them, uh, then they are basically, one of them are port A, one of them is port A, then port B, then there is a port C, then there's port D, and there is also port E. So there are five different ports available and every port uh, in PIC 18F microcontroller has various number of pins. For example, port A has uh, seven pins. Uh, I'm talking about PIC 18F452, right? Uh, this specific data is it's basically shared with the context of PIC 18F452. Uh, every other member of uh, PIC uh, have different types of uh, different numbers of pins available in every pin, in every port. So I'm talking about only pick 18 f 452 so if we talk about port b then it has eight pins similarly port c has eight pins sorry port c has how many pins eight pins and this is also true for port d so if i'm going to write the, the number of pins and similarly port 3 has only three pins specifically if i'm going to uh, uh, clarify it further if you remember i have already discussed it that uh, ports are ports pins are numbered from uh, with uh, with the label ra or for example ra r is label number reference number and a is associated with the specific port so ra and since there are seven pins so they will be numbered from ra0 ra1 then ra and so on. The last number would be what? RA7. Similarly, this is also true for what? True for uh, port B. So if I'm going to individually write down the ports numbers, then uh, you can say that RB0 will be the very first pin, then RB1 will be second pin, then RB2, and eventually this number will go to RB7, right? Uh, since there are eight pins in port B. Okay, but in case of uh, port A, it should be six because there are total seven number of pins. So this is also true for port C, port D. And if I'm going to write about port uh, E, then there are only three pins. So RE0 will be very first pin, then RE1 uh, uh, RE will be second pin, and RE2 will be the third pin. So these are only three pins available in port E. So the, there are five ports and each port have different pins available. So these pins are uh, serving the purpose for the communication of microcontroller with the outer world, right? So with these pins, microcontroller connects itself with the outer world. It can receive data from several external connections uh, or it can also send the data to several other connections. So these are the specific ports which we uh, need to program them either they are input or they are output. So by default, if one is not going to program them or one is not going to configure them, then these ports in default mode, they are input mode, right? For example, port A will be considered as an input port if we will not configure it, right? And similarly, port B will be considered as input port if we will not configure it. One can easily configure it and convert that mode to output mode. How? You can simply use a control register, which, which is known as what? Chris. So every port has uh, associated register, control register, which is known as Chris. For example, for port A, there is a Chris A. Similarly, for port B, there is a Chris B. Then there is a port uh, register, Chris C, and so on, right? So what one need to do, for example, I'm interested in port B configuration, right? 
port B configuration. So, and I want to make this port what output port. So if I am interested to make port B as an output port, what I have to do in a SAMU language, uh, what we have to do, this press B register, which is a control register for port B. What I have to do, I have to make it complete zero. Or in other words, if I'm going to ex explain you that there are how many eight bits available. So every eight bits should be what? Zero uh, zeros, right? For example, uh, we know that there are eight bits. So if I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the logical status of every individual bit, then first bit should be zero. The other bit should be zero. The other bit should be zero. So these are four bits. In hexadecimal, this will become, or this will lead towards one zero. And similarly, the last or least significant four bit should also be zero. So in these are binary status of the bits that should be configuring the port B as an output port. Or if you want to convert this binary data into hexadecimal, then it will become zero zero. Or simply one can also write what uh, zero zero hacks, right? So if I'm going to simply write this thing, press B equals to zero, zero, zero X, zero, zero, semicolon. So that means I'm going to declare or I'm defining it uh, port B as a output port. I can also encircle it. For example, this is the, this is the C language instruction which will define port B as an output port, right? Uh, I have already discussed it that by default, every port is an input mode, but eventually if one want to configure himself any port as an output, sorry, as an input port. So what he need to do, he need to make these logical zeros, these logical zeros equals to one or every individual bit of press register should be one to make any port as input port. For example, uh, let's say I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna configure port D as input port. So uh, we know that port D has an associated control register, which is known as what? Press D. And press D is also combination of how many pins? Eight pins, right? Or eight bits. Pins or bits both uh, is basically the same thing. So I'm, what I'm going to do. First of all, let me write these uh, eight different zeros. So basically first bit should be what one because we want to make it uh, input, right? For output, it should be zero. For input, it should be one. The next bit should also be one. The next bit also be one. And similarly, there will be eight different ones. And if I'm going to group them uh, in four, four bits, combination because we know that every hexadecimal symbol is equals to what uh, uh, equals to four bits. So these four bits will become equals to uh, in hexadecimal. This is indication of hexadecimal. So zero X indicates hexadecimal. And what should be these four ones? These four ones will become what F, sorry, F. And the next four one will become F. So if I want to make port D as input port, what should be the condition or the instruction in C language? Press D because I'm interested in port D. So control register or associated control register is known as press D and uh, I should define it. Zero X, zero X is indication or the denotion of uh, uh, donation of uh, hexadecimal. F, F should be what? The value of it. So that means this is the, this, that's it. This is the line. So. Uh, if I'm going to encircle the line, this line or this statement in C language is basically declaring any port as, sorry, port D as input port, right? So these are the two different possible uh, modes or two possible configuration by which you can make any port either input or output, right? So this is the case for, for example, let me just... Uh, yeah, so this is basically for output. And this is for input. And this specific pattern instruction format you can use in any C language program if you are going to configure any P18F microcontroller. 
So you will be using these two instructions. I hope uh, in this tutorial we have learned about the uh, right way of configuring of any uh, port or ports connected to pick 18F microcontroller in C language. If you have any question, please post them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.